I am Dr. Franklin Yao with Vanguard Vascular in Vain. In this short video, I will be discussing with you about May Thurner syndrome. I will talk to you about what it is, what causes it, how the symptoms present, and the current therapy to treat May Thurner syndrome. Thank you for tuning in. I will have answers to all your questions coming right up. One of the most common symptoms that patients present to our office for evaluation is leg pain and swelling. Sometimes this uh, leg pain and swelling is caused by a blood clot or a deep venous thrombosis inside the vein. The blood clot leads to a permanent obstruction in the vein which blocks blood from returning from the leg back to the heart. The blood backs up and leads to leg pain and swelling. Other times the vein can be compressed from the outside by the artery which also blocks the vein and leads to leg pain and swelling. This is called May Thurner syndrome. The primary way to treat May Thurner syndrome is the placement of a stent inside the vein. Endovascular therapy is the primary method to treat May Thurner syndrome. This is accomplished by insertion of small catheters and wires inside the vein. Guidance is performed using x-rays and ultrasound. Once the blockage is identified and measured, the blockage is dilated open by inflating a balloon, which is called angioplasty. After angioplasty is performed, an appropriately sized stent is inserted and deployed inside the blockage to keep the blockage from recurring. The most common stent that we use for this blockage is the Venovo stent which is made by Bard Peripheral Vascular. After stent placement, the balloon is reinserted and post dilated uh, to keep the stent open. The entire procedure takes about 30 minutes and can be performed in an outpatient setting. The patients can be discharged home and resume their normal activity right away. Oftentimes, after stent placement, the patients are prescribed a blood thinner for a period of time. With a successful stent placement for treatment of May Thurner syndrome, the patient's leg pain and swelling usually quickly improves. The best centers for peripheral interventions for May Thurner syndrome are accredited with the American Association for the Accreditation of Ambulatory Surgery Facilities. Please look for this seal when you are seeking a center for treatment for your May Thurner syndrome. I hope that this video has been educational. Thank you for tuning in. If you are interested in other vascular topics, please check out our other available videos.